Hello, welcome to episode 2 of Carolyn and Friends. Carolyn is still all alone. She'll have friends at some stage, but not just yet. For some reason, she decided to visit China. Now, this visit to China is a very short visit, and it will last precisely one episode, and that is this episode. So she's arrived in China just as any other sim would and she's going to the adventure board to find an adventure and she gets the first adventure that any other sim gets Seeking Adventure I am searching for an intrepid adventurer who can retrieve an ancient relic for me I've searched all over town and no one has the guts please contact me Bao Louie if you are interested. Objective. Speak to Bao Louie about the ancient relic. So Carolyn has set off on her bicycle. She's headed for Bao Louie's house. Which she comes upon rather quickly and unexpectedly. It goes a white taxi. Lucking ability to draw things quickly enough. So there she is. She's got to Bao Louie and she has reported in and he has said Treasure Hunter. Thank goodness someone finally responded. Come on there's work to do. I've heard rumours that a nearby tomb holds a valuable treasure. Retrieve it for me and you will be handsomely rewarded. You'll need this key to get into the tomb. What are you waiting for? Get to it! Objective. Retrieve the ancient relic for Bao Louie to receive simoleons and ancient coins. She has to go and visit the halls of the lost army which is found in the middle of town just near the market. When she gets inside, she finds a floor switch that she needs to stand on. She knows she needs to stand on it because it's got footprints on it. And when she stands on it, magically a staircase opens, or maybe it's by mechanical means. Who knows? And she decides to be very brave, and she goes down the staircase. She sees a message on the wall. A note is scrawled on the wall. Every good explorer should carry a tent and dried food at all times. The stairs closed behind me. But luckily, I'm prepared. I'm confident I'll find a way out any day now. So whoever it was must have got out, otherwise how could they have pinned that message on the wall or scrawled the message on the wall. Here she is pulling the pushable statue that she found and it has opened that locked door which she goes through, finds another pushable statue. This time she needs to push it or she could pull it if she chose to stand on the other side. and she's found another floor su switch with footprints on it. She knows what to do with them now. That unlocked another door so that she goes through that door. Lots of pushable statues here. Or maybe they're not all pushable. And an electric floor trap. But pushable statues will turn those tr traps off and she needs to disarm the trap so she's got to push the statue and the trap is disarmed and push it one more time so she can walk around it and then she can clear that rubble pile it's quite obvious at this point what each step is that she needs to do 
So we sped her up through that one and she's found another floor switch that she needs to stand on. And that has revealed a hidden door and something else. Oh, there's a wall, hole in the wall there. Looks like she's going to go through the hidden door first because it's opened for her. And it's got three treasure chests. An emerald cut jade. There's sure to be food in one of them. Is that dried food this time? Okay, she's got food now. So she won't die immediately if she gets trapped inside here. If you've been watching my Isla Paradiso series, you're probably missing the music and there's noises from behind the scenes. This was recorded on my laptop and it made a terrible mess of the audio. So I've had to delete the audio. I'm sure you wouldn't enjoy squeaking and squealing it's like bad feedback on a PA system that's been set up badly. Now she's going to jump in or have a dive in the dive pool. Climb up onto it and see what sort of a dive she does. Looks to me like she just pretty much jumped straight in there. Swim through the tunnel to get the star keystone. And back to where she came from. She needed that keystone to get in this next door. And that's it. Nothing much to this tomb. It's a little training tomb. We'll get her to empty these treasure chests and stand on that floor switch before she retrieves the treasure. Not that we can actually see her standing on it, but we can see her foot. There she is. She's got that door open. That hidden door opened when she stood on that floor switch. And now she's got the treasure, the relic that she needs to return to Bao Louis. Off she goes. I thought she would have found something up top there to open, but apparently not. She's in the market, but she's got to go back to his house. At least I think it's his house. She's found him anyway. And they're having a little chat. Now this is the abandoned barn. And it's a good place to go if your sims haven't been to China before or it's a good place to go even if your sims have been to China before it's just that you find a lot more treasure on the first visit subsequent visits you tend to only find piles of ancient coins there's three treasure chests and two piles of ancient coins that she's going to collect here She's already got one lot of ancient coins. Looks like she got a part of the tomb collection there as well. from the Not from the barn, but from that tomb that she completed. There's the second pile of ancient coins. They don't come back. 
but things do come back into the treasure chest on subsequent visits. Now the reason I like to come here is this is the only place in the World Adventures worlds that I've found where the seeds are lying on the ground. So I like to send my sims here occasionally to collect the seeds. And I see that Carolyn is getting tired. Fortunately she doesn't have to go all the way back to base camp to sleep because there's a campground just next to the barn and she can just go down there. There's a tent there that she can use and also you'll find there'll be gems will spawn there occasionally as well. So she might be able to pick up a gem. It's a good place to come to fish when your sims keep getting fishing opportunities. This is the next morning and she's found a place to dig for treasure. An excavation place. You better sell those flowers before they lose too much value. Looks like she's going to sell them before they lose any value. Which is fortunate. So she's got a few treasures. She's headed off now to collect some the items we found on the ground. Looks like she's got a gem to collect and a piece of metal and then a butterfly to catch. This is right next to a house that sometimes my sims will buy when they get a chance to. I don't expect Carolyn will be back and I'll enter China or any other world adventures world after this episode so I doubt that she'll be buying a house. But you never know, things could change a long way down the track. So now she's going to go to the Dragon Cave. Apparently she's got an opportunity or an adventure to fulfill at the Dragon Cave. So she's got to inspect, there she's up there in the distance inspecting that door. Go down the steps and now she's inside. Now she doesn't have to do a lot of work in here to fulfill the requirements of her adventure but I always like to get all the treasure I can out of the place. She's pushing that statue way too far and I need to pull it out for two spaces. Collect that pile of ancient coins and find that hidden door. She must have wanted to find a hidden door. Got 400 happiness points. Three more piles of ancient coins to collect and another hidden door to find and get through. And another hidden door. You can see where they are because of the mats. Well, not really mats. They are mats, but they've cut recolored to look like bricks. and a rubble pile. That hole in the floor, she found a few bugs by the look of it. Hidden door. Go through that. There's a treasure on that table that I can see. And a treasure chest. This is all inside the dragon cave. Another hidden door.
steps to go down. How many levels has she gone down now? This will be the third basement, I think. Sometimes it's a bit hard to get this game to actually let you see what you want to see. Okay, so she's come into this room. There's a few treasures there that she can collect. Some ancient coins. A money bag. She's not going to get the last ancient coins. Maybe she is. So she's going to go all the way back there after she's found the hidden door. She's got to go all the way back to pick up that last pile of ancient coins. They're not going to do her any good at all because she can't use them. You need to be level 3 to get the sort of things I like to buy with ancient coins. And I mean level 3 visa. And I doubt that she's going to even get to level 1 visa in this episode. So she's found that hidden door. It's revealed a room with six sarcophagi to look into, but she's going to have to work for them. Three of them have got rubble piles that she's got to get past, and the other two have got pushable statues that she's got to pull and move around. As of all of the six, there's only one that she can just look at without having to work hard. At least if she's really tired, she can sleep in a sarcophagus once she has inspected it and got all the jewels and the treasures out of it. So now she can sleep in that one if she needs to. And that's what she's going to do. I thought she might have been a bit sleepy. She's only here for three days and it looks like this is her second sleep. So she's got one day left to go to finish the dragon cave and do whatever else she's going to do. And of course, as soon as I decide that she needs to cut a bit out of her sleep, she wakes up and hops out of the sarcophagus. And here she emerges. One sleep cycle down. Luckily she had an apple in her inventory or a piece of dried food, I suspect. Either would have done the trick. So she doesn't have access to Pangu's axe because she hasn't been in China long enough. And she's not going to be in China long enough either. So she's just got to clear the rubble piles the hard way. But there's treasure to be found once she has cleared the rubble pile. Looks like there's plenty in that one, or it's hard to find. Now, I suppose I should actually rush through the digging in these two, because it'll take a while, won't it? She's trying. She's getting there. Cut a bit out, but she seems to do a lot of hammering against nothing here. At least she's going to get faster. That looks like a huge rubble pile there. She's finding treasure. 
That's what it's all about. You know, that might be why I sent it to China, because she is desperately short of cash. And when she does a world, she'll find all sorts of things. I often used to send my sims to China to collect things that they could sell to be able to build a bigger house. And she's living in a tiny little house with the tiniest amount of furniture in it and it's all very cheap and nasty. So I think that might be why I sent her to China. I couldn't remember. And she is collecting some treasure. Let's hope it's enough to help her get her house going. I find these days now we've got extra ways of Sims earning money quickly. I find the stone stray greenhouse is good because you can find suns and sell the suns that the daisy makes. And another way I've recently discovered that you can make, Sims can make an enormous amounts of money very quickly is sculpting, particularly ice sculpting. The first 25 ice sculptures they make melt, so you have to sell them straight away and they get, you get big money for them. And ice isn't very expensive. Sculpting in stone costs $500, I think it is, for each piece of stone. And often it's faulty and you get a gem or something from it instead of a sculpture. But if you do get a sculpture from it, it's worth thousands, even when your sim isn't very good. So she's rushing back to report in. Oh no, she hasn't explored the cave yet. That was all a side exploration. The bit that she was after is still coming up. So you could do all of that without even having an adventure. It doesn't affect any adventures at all. But from here on in, is she needs this as part of the adventure. Even though I don't think she has a key. She might have. It's a long time since I recorded this. So, what's she found? A pile of coins and a broken bowl. I used to keep those broken bowls, but now I sell them. But they're good. They don't, you don't get very much for them usually. Um, but they are useful for children to take to school. Because although sim children don't lose them, I like to think that you don't want to give something really nice and expensive to a child to take to school. So they probably get lost or broken. So that is a floor switch she just stood on and it's revealed two holes in the wall. She's got 1,500 simoleons by the look of it. She found a relic with whatever, 500, I can't really see that. And there are some floor traps with flames coming out of them. She can go around them easy enough. Pushable statue. And coming at it from above, you can see there's a floor switch behind that pushable statue. And it's a type of floor switch that she has to stand on. So she needs to push the statue out of the way. And she can report in now because she all she had to do was come into this room. And she's in here, she's standing on the floor switch and she's opened another hidden door. And there's a treasure chest. And it's turned off all those traps on the floor, those fire traps. So she's found some treasure that she can sell. She doesn't need to keep any of it. 
and she can report in and she'll get paid for her efforts. Remember though, if you're going to do this travelling, you need to be able to get quite a lot of treasure because it costs a lot of money. They have to pay a thousand or more simoleons usually to travel, unless you've got some special deal going. So she's found herself a spot at the the Martial Arts Academy, isn't it? Yes. That's where she is and she's got to report in to somebody but she decided to ignore them and just go straight upstairs and do a workout. But she's been told to do what she's supposed to do and report in. She needs to complete the adventure to get paid. The trip is over. So it looks like she's not even going to get paid because she diverted to the Martial Arts Academy. So she still needs to report in and she's not coming back. So that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Carolyn had a little diversion to China. Next episode we're back in Isla Paradiso. Thank you for watching. Bye bye for now and happy simming.